Hi, um, in one of my previous videos someone asked if they could see the whole rig um, so there it is it's just laid out on a test board at the moment just so I can play around with stuff um, Blu-ray DVD player, 500 gigabyte SATA 3 drive, 400 watt mini ITX power supply uh, around the back there that's the Kingston HyperX memory I got um, under there under the Cooler Master Vortex Plus I think it's called cooler there's an AMD A8 3850 APU which is running at 105 megahertz so it's not really overclocked at all um, that's my Sapphire Radeon HD 6670 with one gigabyte of DDR5 cost about 65 quid I think um, there's the HDMI cable coming out going in the back of the TV um, it's a bit dark but as you can see there's only one lead actually going in the back of the TV um, so anyway, that's the rig. Uh, this is what I was just having a play around with. Again, it's Bad Company 2 um, because I've just updated the drivers to Catalyst 11.8 um, just to see how it, you know, how it does. Um, full 1080p resolution. I bumped the AA and AF up by a notch. They were on 1 and 4, I think, so they're now 2 and 8. And if I resume game you'll be able to see how it works. Um, I've got the fraps meter going so I'll just put it on that so you can see. So there we go. I'm just gonna swap hands so I can get to the keyboard. But there it goes. Um, I'll pan around a bit so you can see the rest of it. Obviously it's not doing anything or moving at the moment. Um, so I should just try and run down the hill a bit the fraps meter in view. Whoops, losing the fraps meter. But as you can see, it's hovering around 60. Um, I'm trying to steer this actually by looking through my phone, which is not very easy. Um, okay, so there are a couple of good dudes here, probably need to be killed. Um, so I'll have a go at that. Just have to swap hands again so I can grab the mouse. Uh, I'll try and keep it in view. It's all going to kick off as soon as I shoot, so. Oh dear. I suspect I'm going to die fairly quickly. But that's with all the explosions and stuff going off. <laughs> Dead again. Um, but that's the frame rate you get. It doesn't seem to alter much when you play online. Um, it seems to be fairly consistent at about 50 frames per second. Um, I think the lowest I've seen is 26 frames per second with these settings. And that was when there was you know, just loads of stuff going on. So I'd say it, it'll probably play at about 50 frames a second um, quite easily. Possibly a bit more with some more optimised drivers. These are only a release candidate set of drivers for it. Um, so it'll probably improve slightly. I have actually played the Battlefield 3 alpha test um, and that that seems to play okay. Sorry I'm not very good at mouse and keyboard at the moment. It's about eight years since I've tried to play with it so um, but yeah just panning around you know that's what it looks like. Um, try and move over here so the water you can get a better view. Um, yeah, it's not bad. Um, that's the rig. That's what it does. Uh, if anybody's got any questions, I'll be happy to answer them if I can. I can't say anything about the Battlefield 3 Alpha, unfortunately, other than it probably is going to be okay, this rig, to play it. Um, so there you go. That was just for the guy who asked if I could show the whole thing. hope you enjoyed it, and um, ask any questions you like. Cheers.